All right, guys, good afternoon. I want to do a real quick little, little word on microclimate building and castor beans uh, for the Phoenix Valley area or Vegas or anywhere else where it's really, really hot and you want to get some instant shade for your plants. Um, you guys will want to plant uh, some of these castor beans. So this thing is three months old. I just threw a seed in there to just fill that, fill that area. I didn't have a tree in there. I just threw that... Uh, castor bean in there and it has already grown the blue is eight feet so eight feet plus another I don't know maybe three so 11 feet 11 feet in three months and the amount of shade these create and the amount of microclimate and hum humidity is just amazing and they're free basically just seeds and when you don't want them anymore you just cut them down just cut them down get rid of them no problems at all. So yeah, this thing has grown about 11 feet and about four, maybe five feet wide in three months in the full sun and the heat against that metal wall, no issues. So that they just save your butt. So it saved my butt over here on this pluot. So I put this three in one pluot in and I didn't end up getting the actual pluot till, I don't know, late. May, June, it was hot. I don't know, I planted it. And I'm like, oh no, I'm kind of doomed because it's a new planting. And it's basically a plum tree planted against this metal wall. So I threw some castor bean seeds in here too. And you see that they have grown up and around this and completely shelled in this plum tree all the way around these huge leaves and saved the pluot that's there in the center. So I'm going to leave these castor beans until it cools down, and then I'm gonna cut them down and expose that pluot to the sun. And then I'll cut this one down when I find another tree I wanna put in that spot. So let me show you one other little place where these have saved me. Okay, so actually they've saved me quite a few times over the years, but just this year or so, I've got these castor beans here and they, they're growing in front of a mango. So I've got a mango back there behind it. And these castor beans, they're probably at least that tall, 12 feet tall. And they're providing all this shade to that mango that's behind it that would normally get full afternoon sun. So it would totally normally cook that mango, but the mango has been protected. So actually that mango has all new all new foliage because it has been shaded. So let me see if I can get up here. You guys see that? It's all new, all new foliage at the top of that mango. Now, if this, if those castor beans were not there to save this thing, this thing would have cooked. It would have been Rice Krispies out here. So having that extra shade from those castor beans just kind of, they just kind of grow wherever you throw seeds, right? And then they'll grow up and they'll protect the front of something that you want to save. That way you don't cook something like this and you can have a mango out here in basically the full afternoon sun, but it's not getting wasted because that um, castor bean, which, man, they bloom all different colors. That's so weird. That's like a yellow, ye yellow lime. They'll bloom pink, red, purple. Um, but yeah, castor beans, so kind of underrated. You want shade in about three months, uh, that's the way to do it. They're the, they're the fastest. They're going to save you faster than things like moringa and mulberries. Um, they're the fastest microclimate builder. All right, guys, thank you for watching.